let, let me dive into just with, with how we have it placed here with the USA stuff, because that kind of kicked off the summer. So if you went right there, a lot of guys, I think we're still playing. There's still some Omaha action going on. So this is a while ago for both of you. The pitching, though, um, and, and moving forward, like obviously there's tons of value in the pitching. Right at the top, a kid named Tyler Bremner, who UCSB, Big West keeps churning out big-time prospects, especially the pitchers. DJ, you and I have talked about, hey, going out West, those guys seem to know how to pitch early. And Tyler Bremner was not super physical in high school. Arm really worked. Wasn't able to rely on, hey, I'm throwing 100 here. He had to learn how to pitch. Well, now that velo has jumped up. What did you guys see from this Bremner kid throughout this summer that has really elevated him to the number two status and the top collegiate arm? Well, I'll start by saying uh, some Bremner scouts are really comparing him to Aaron Hill. So I think out. that's a huge idea of what you're getting with that package already. But the day I saw him, I just saw him two innings at the, the trials. I saw him early and then DJ picked up uh, later on the – and they started playing Chinese Taipei. But, I mean, I saw three pitches that were 60 or 70 grade. Um, his, his fastball is up, sat 95 and 6. I think he touched a 7. But his changeup is just crazy. You're talking about, well, you pointed out uh, the Yoho guy in uh, Pro Bowl Double A right now. Um, and then I saw some highlights of him over, over the weekend. But it's it's that kind of sick changeup, like the best in college baseball this coming wow. year. Absolutely just filthy with with just the arm speed he has on it, the action it has on it, the swing and miss. I mean, it's just a ridiculous pitch. And then he throws an absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous. It's a 70 tur grade turbo sweeper, uh, you know, to go under under the lefty bats um, and the righty handed bats. But uh, I mean, he's just got three 70 offerings. So I hate to compare people like Paul Skeens and even mention the name Aaron Nola. But that's the type of talent in Chase Burns with his, you know, with his 360s or 70s. That's the type of, you know, right-handed pitcher we're talking about. It's amazing when you talk about, and DJ, I'll let you talk on him in a second, about the Big West, and especially UCSB, who has recruited so well, Coach Check. It's, it's one of the first places I go, okay, in the West Coast, what's going on at UCSB? Who are the arms that they're rolling out there? We kind of know that those guys are going to develop. They have a chance to jump. So kudos to them. But Bremner was a, a big fan in high school. DJ, what did you get? Did you get to see him this summer at all? Yeah, I did. And I saw him against Taipei. He was outstanding. Everything okay. Sife just said. And I think the thing with Bremner is as soon as I saw him and you see that name, your inclination as a scouting director or as a national cross checker is what did we have this guy? What did we have on this guy in in when he was in high school? Because it wasn't really a name. He was a he was a player that scouts went out and scouted. But you couldn't really sign him. He was that guy that you were thinking about maybe in the fourth, in the fifth round. And he shows up. And interestingly enough, he takes a big jump. And I was reading through his scouting report from when he was in. There was a lot of clues there. And I would encourage everybody, when you see that kind of player, you really got to ask yourself, can he make the jump? Because Bremner made the jump almost immediately. Almost immediately. So, you know, the, the stuff that Seif talked about was there the change was filthy he was throwing at first pitch to left-handers for strikes he was commanding his secondary stuff there was really good natural tempo in his delivery and all those kind of stuff all those kind of things and athleticism so he was a really exciting arm i can't imagine that there's going to be a right-handed pitcher that's going to be better than this wow. could they emerge sure could you know we'll talk about gabe davis in a little bit and, and stuff like that but like going into the spring and what we would expect I don't know who's going to pass him. Can anybody pass this guy, Saif? 